Welcome to Workout Wednesday, week 19. Uh, this week we're going to take and recreate a tableau challenge from week 16 uh, of this year that Sean Miller uh, did. What he was able to do was a hex bin map. And if you haven't seen a hex bin map before, uh, if you have a whole bunch of points in a map, a hex bin uh, calculation within tableau allows you to uh, group those points together into equal sized, uh, in this case, hexagons that allow you to see the density over a uh, area without, um, you know, having the uh, diff or the different zip codes or the different areas be different sizes. It just helps provide a little bit more of an equal distribution of those points to show you where those densities are. So here you can see that there's more sightings uh, in these areas. Uh, than some of these darker areas. And then by hovering over uh, each borough, you're able to see um, a little bit of a highlighted view. So we're going to try to recreate this in Power BI. It should be an interesting challenge. It'll involve uh, creating a map box uh, within Mapbox Studio and will also consist of us uh, utilizing a uh, map box uh, custom visual within Power BI. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing that we're going to want to do to create a nice map in the same format that Sean's format is, is to go ahead and go to studio.mapbox.com. If you don't have an account, uh, go ahead and create one. It's going to allow us to add new styles. Um, in Mapbox Studio, the easiest way, especially since we're just looking at dark land and, and dark gray water, is just to start with blank. It's a bit tedious. Um, I'm still learning this myself, but if you go to land, water, and sky, um, you can already see we've got a dark, uh, detailed map view from, from the uh, scratch here. So um, I usually click these colors around until I get to the right one. So here you can see in land, water, and sky, the base color for land, um, I would like to be as dark as we can make it need to override. So that's another thing I always forget to do. We have to override it. Let's go ahead and make that very dark. Oops. That very dark. And then let's delete this stop here. That stop is, is actually a... Uh... Oops. That stop is actually like a, a change in the... when you zoom in the color that you get. So now, um, kind of going back here, I'm going to close this. I'm going to open land water and sky again. Here we have water. So let's click water. Let's override water and let's make it slightly lighter. We don't want to make it red. So let's maybe get more on this left side. There we go. All right. And the. Uh, Thing that you'd want to have a look at here is actually New York. So New York is going to be where this, uh, this view jaunts out a little bit here. So you can already see that we've got um, a view that's starting to look somewhat like the view that we have um, in the Tableau dashboard. Uh, again, you might want to play with these colors a bit more. Um, I played a bunch with them uh, in my final version. Uh, in the uh, challenge, maybe I'll give you the guys the actual uh, color codes that I used for each one, in case you're curious. Uh, you can start working on getting rid of some of the details or adding in a little bit more um, pop to these details. It's really up to your own preference. Um, what's nice here as well is you're going to see here we're at a 10.5 zoom with the latitude and the longitude value uh, that's shown here. This is important because I'm going to use that value uh, when I go into the map box visual to set the zoom and to set the position of the map uh, for the visual. So keep that in mind uh, as well. Once you're finished, you can publish your map. I'm just going to go ahead and publish and hit OK. And now I'll be able to use that map within uh, Power BI. The, I'll show you when we get into the map box visual how to do that. Make sure you give it a good name. This is just, I created a blank new one, but uh, go ahead and rename that when you create it. And then when you want to share it, go to share your visual. We're going to be actually utilizing this style URL and this access token, access token, <clears throat> excuse me, 
um, that you'll put into the Mapbox visual uh, to actually pull this map from, uh, from the site. Okay, um, so we'll go ahead and jump into Power BI and uh, we'll load the data and then I'll start to show you how we can use that. Let's go ahead and load our data. So um, on our uh, blog post, you'll notice the uh, data comes from the city of New York. Uh, this is an open data set for the rat sightings from 2010 to present day. Uh, you can export that as a CSV uh, or any other format that you'd like to import in a Power BI. The easiest one's gonna be CSV. Download that and then head over to Power BI. Let's go ahead and import data from a text file. Our rat sightings here we have already kind of queued up in my folder. We'll open that up. All right, so it's important to kind of see what we have uh, here in the data set. There's only a few things that we're going to actually need. Um, so Let's go ahead and go to transform data. And then we're going to want to keep the unique key. We're going to want to keep the latitude and the longitude as well. Let's go until we get to latitude, longitude, or park borough, because that's the other thing that we're going to need. So we have Park Borough here. So let's remove these columns. Let's find our latitude and longitude, which are here. Open the columns up to this point. And location, uh, you can keep that in if you want. It's just a representation of the latitude and longitude. Um, and we'll go ahead and close and apply. All right, I just realized some of that might have been in the middle of the screen, so it might have been slightly cut off, but hopefully you were able to follow uh, for the most part. Um, so after loading the data, a couple things we want to do initially. Let's change the, the uh, data category for latitude to latitude and longitude to longitude. longitude. Uh, this allows us to actually use this in, in the map here in a minute. Um, and then this unique key, it is a whole number. Uh, I'm just going to say don't summarize because we'll use this as more of a uh, indication of the color for the density of the dots later on. All right, let's go ahead and get the map box visual. So this is just going in custom visualizations. Going to the map box visual and adding that. Before doing anything else, let's just go ahead and open our map box visual and let's just try to get our map loaded. Um, so the way that we're going to go ahead and do that, let's load the, the latitude and longitudinal, longitudinal points. So we'll put in latitude and longitude uh, and we'll just uh, location if that does anything. So let's go ahead and just enter viz settings, your access token, and then map style is going to be custom. So we're going to use that access token and style URL from Mapbox Studio. So let's go to studio.mapbox.com. Then sign in. Here you can see I've got a monochrome map that I've created. Let's go ahead and go to the share. Let's go down here. You can see we've got a style URL and an access token. So the style URL we can copy. Go ahead and put right here. And then access token will be the same. You're going to notice right away um, that we uh, don't actually have a default position 
and or zoom. And we'll go ahead and set that next. All right, so once you take off auto zoom, <clears throat> you're going to want to set your zoom to 10.2, your longitude to 73 or negative 73.908 and your latitude to 40.726. Uh, what this is actually going to do is zoom into the map by default to this um, uh, view. And then obviously you're going to have some custom settings here that we'll turn off. So uh, just in terms of the geocoder, we don't need that. Next, we're going to go ahead and try to group the latitude and longitude points uh, in just say less circles here. You can see there's a lot of them, right? Um, so the thing uh, in Tableau that you can do is, is a hex bin calculation. And the hex bin calculation groups uh, lots of latitude and longitude points into, into call it less descript latitude and longitudinal points. So, so basically rounds latitude and longitude. So that's essentially in Power BI what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to go ahead and let's create a new column. And let's just show you what happens if, say, we round it to the second decimal for latitude and longitude. Uh, so here, let's go ahead and round latitude uh, to two points. And we'll do the same thing to longitude. Excuse my slow typing. Do the round for longitude. That's two decimal places. Now what we'll do is in the map, we'll actually take this latitude round, put it here in the longitude round here, and you have points that represent the different areas of the map. What you'll notice if you look at the design of the, of the Tableau map is there's actually a lot more points than are present if you um, round it to the second decimal. And actually, if you do it to the third, um, there's too many, right? So um, I'll show you what that looks like really quick. Do latitude to three, longitude to three. Um, and it looks like there's uh, not uh, an equal representation of points, but as you reduce the radius here, um, and whoops, scale factor is a little bit too big here. You actually do have a uniformity of points. It's just, there's just so many of them. So what we're actually going to try to do is get between uh, two and three decimal points. So it's effectively rounding to uh, the 2.5 uh, decimal points. Um, from a mathematics standpoint, it's, it's just multiplying by two, um, rounding that to the second decimal point, and then dividing by two. Um, that is essentially the uh, calculation that, uh, that I use to get us to that. And, uh, and I'll show you actually once we change that here. Um, and really the radius, let's say, probably looks like four. Uh, I looked at this before. I think the zoom factor is 1.2 is where we get the best looking map. So here you can see we've got a nice set of points. It doesn't look like the end result yet because we'll have to play with colors uh, in the formatting of the map. Uh, but here you have a really good um, kind of way to take all of those disparate points or all of those individual points and, and put them into some form of, of uniformity in, in rows and columns that you can then very easily visualize the, the density uh, through color. I almost forgot to show you, uh, just looking at the latitude and longitude values uh, that you get from that calculation, you, you can in fact see that we're rounding to Basically, the uh, in the thousandths uh, column, you can see that these are rounding to the to the 0 0.05 uh, increment. So, effectively, to the 2.5, we're rounding. Well, let's go ahead and start adding the color into this chart. Um, what we're going to do in the map is actually add the unique key as the color for density, uh, and then within the circle area, we're going to want to remove the legend to start with. And then um, with the magic of editing, I'm just going to fill in the values um, that I put in the blog post. Go ahead and add a 
archer here. The Park Bro is going to be the Y axis, and the number of unique keys will be the X. Uh, we're going to want to actually filter on Park Bro here for this visualization, and we'll select all except for the blank and unspecified. Uh, we will, in fact, be changing the color of the bars to this color here. Um, you'll see that in the um, in the blog post. Uh, and then there's various things that we'll want to change. Again, I'm not going to go through um, all of the formatting changes that we go through. Um, you'll have different things that you can do, for example, with the background to make that transparent. Uh, you can change the um, values for your X and Y axis. So in the Y axis, uh, you might change this to white so you can actually see the burrows. You don't want to make the the uh, bar chart different, a different size. You're going to want to be able to uh, go ahead and look at uh, the labels here. So we want to have data labels. Uh, we want those data labels to be visible. So you want to change that to, to something that's uh, much more visible. I don't think I used white. I think I used a little bit of an off-white. So just play around with that until um, you get the uh, look and feel that you want. And after some formatting, you're going to end up with a result that looks somewhat close to this, um, maybe even better. I, I, I'm always impressed with the uh, challenge entries that we get and, and the results that you guys provide. Um, I've, I've seen some really cool, uh, you know, personal touches on, on your guys' uh, submissions, and, and I think that's that's awesome. So keep that stuff up. I'm always happy to, to see you guys participate in the way that you are, and and really can't thank you guys enough for, for that participation. It really does mean a lot to us. So hopefully that uh, wraps up a, another good week of Workout Wednesday, and, and you guys found this solution video helpful. Um, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing you guys the next time I submit a challenge. Okay, bye guys.